Hi, my name is Leo and I'm going to teach you how to paint a ladybug rock. So this is the final product and um, we're going to go through step by step and I'll show you how to do it. So first, before we start, let me tell you why I like ladybug rocks. There's a European legend dating to the Middle Ages about how ladybugs became lucky. Hordes of insects began destroying crops and the farmers prayed to the Virgin Mary for help. Soon after red and black beetles descended upon the crops and ate the plant-destroying insects, these beetles were then called Our Lady's Bugs, or Ladybugs. And I happen to like our Blessed Mother, and I like to paint ladybugs in her honor. So let me show you how I do it. These are the supplies you'll need. A black Sharpie, a paintbrush of whatever size you're comfortable with, blue craft paint, white craft paint, red craft paint, and a toothpick. You're going to find yourself an oval shaped rock that you think looks like the shape of a ladybug. You're going to divide the rock with the Sharpie. As you can see, I have like split it down the middle and curved off to the back and then curved across the front and then a bunch of circles for these spots and two ovals for the eyes. As perfect or imperfect as you want it to be is absolutely fine. You're gonna use the Sharpie to color in the black areas. So you can see the spots, the center, the back, and around the ovals that will eventually become the eyes. You're gonna use the red craft paint and you're going to paint your ladybug red. Of course, ladybug can be other colors if you prefer. There's nothing that go, can be wrong in art, but I went with the red. Then I'm using the white craft paint with a toothpick to fill in the ovals or the circles for the eyes. Then I use the blue craft paint with the toothpick to put the center blue in the eyes and also to add some little highlights on the little spots on the body. If you want to do that, totally up to you. And if you want to, you can add a little smiley face in red or whatever color you prefer to give it a little bit of a face. I also added some antenna with the tip of the toothpick. And you just have to dot them in and then make the ones on top a little bit bigger if you like that. So this is the finished ladybug and you can go in then with your toothpick or your Sharpie to clean up the edges and darken things and make it as perfect as you want it to be. I like it to be a little imperfect myself because I think it's more fun that way. And then if you want to, you can make a little giveaway card to give away with your ladybug rock when you can explain and tell people about the legend of Our Lady's Bug or the Ladybug. And then, if you're a person of faith and you believe in the Blessed Mother, maybe you could say a little Hail Mary after you're done with the rock before you give it away to the person that you'll give it to so it goes with a prayer. Hope you enjoy making Ladybug Rocks.